I'm here with uh, Velvet V's mom, Mrs. Pamela. Same way, she thought she was taller than you. Look at that. What is it? Yeah, my what? Huh? I mean, what? Oh, you're 6'2. Yeah, we're the same height. I'm just recording. Um, Hello. 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 Anyway, if you want me asking, as far as like your workout so, today. My son challenged me because you know we real competitive. Mm -hmm. So he saw a picture of me in college, and he said, "You'll never get back to that way." This is called the damn damn sixty challenge. I'll be mean, sixty this year. Wow, wow, that's crazy. And I'm working on these abs. These are sixty abs of a sixty year old. So if y'all ain't getting it in, living your best life, I'm getting it in, living my best life. You're an Olympian, your son is an Olympian. That, that must be a good feeling. We're the first everything. First mom and son, WNBA mom to have a son in the NBA. When he was like, I played over in Europe, so he would travel with me all the way to the game, to my game. Yeah. And sit at the end of the bench with my nanny. We the first one, I was like the first mom WNBA player. Your nanny was at the games too? I mean, I was such an elite player. The teams will let me negotiate my own amenities to the contract because I was that type of player. You played in the WNBA as well, I'm guessing, huh? Who'd you play for? I played, I got drafted number two, and I think I was 37. But um, and then I played for the Monarchs in the end of my career with the LA, LA Sparks. Okay. And then I trained my son. You know, I was actually the one that got him in the gym. I was, I was a crazy. single mom, never got any child support. And my daughter also played in the WNBA. She's in her third year of law school. And um, I just got it in. Did what I had to do as a mom. Wow. No excuses. What's your excuse? <laughs> if I can get it in at 60, at what's 60. your excuse? Quit crying about it, be about it. I definitely got the right look and the right, <laughs> the right body frame. Hello? This is what we do at six. This is a 60 year old. Right? That's good. Does anybody? I live in DC. DC. Does anybody like recognize you? Like out in public? You know, or yeah, hit or miss? Okay. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah Javel had a great career though. I was a fan when he was with the Nuggets, like way back in 07. Yeah, we've been in this our 14th year. 14? That's crazy. That's the US three times. 3.3 champions and we can go. That's what I'm talking Every time we do this, blessings, blessings, blessings. Did you give him advice during this of whole course. series? Like, what'd you tell him? You know, we just blessed, you know, we come from Flint. So we just honored that the creator was giving him this opportunity to be in the league 14 years. You know, and what we do is we go to work. That's what we bring to any other team. You know, we grew up blue collar. Flint, Michigan, where the water is poison. But we're the first, Flint is where the, the UAW was developed. And because of that, we got to work out to get, like Draymond is from Lansing. That's what we, how we, we cut in the Midwest. Yeah, Draymond went to uh, Michigan State, right? Yeah, I'm like Draymond is from Saginaw. That's like 30 minutes from Flint. Okay. But growing up in Flint and playing ball, that's how we cut. You know, we go to work, we don't cry about it, we be about it. What's your frame? You look like you used to like do something like hoop or play volleyball or something like that because yeah, you you're know, tall. I, I mean, and Lincoln, you know, I still got my records up. You know, I'm, I got like a state high school championship. We won state in track. You know, I was just been a great athlete. You know, and I was like an academic All-American too, so. That's what's up. Yeah. It's an honor to, to meet you and to get you on video. I appreciate you. My name is, I go by Al the Blogger on, 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 online, but my name is Al. Um, but yeah, I'm a content creator, so I, I work out. You know. Alvin is moving to the next level. He's hey. releasing <laughs> the oppression of not knowing what he's doing. You gotta release that, bro. Shoot for the stars. You create your own destiny. Amen to that. Architect your own blessings. And he told me right now, like, just get it while you can, because everything happens for a reason. Like, it's a coincidence that no, my first time recording. No, you just got to operate on another vibration. Oh, yeah, thanks. And you got to pull all those generational curses telling that men of color cannot access dominance and abundance. That's in your own head. Remove, once you remove those chains, mm. the, the universe will bring it to you. It's on you. you. You your own worst enemy. Trust and believe it. Yes, ma'am. It's all in your head, like you said. <laughs> nice to meet you. I appreciate you. Nice to meet you.